41% of all pilot-related fatalities are due to what's called stall spins. Fundamentally, a spin is a loss of control. Instead of designing an airplane that can recover from a loss of control, how about an airplane that doesn't lose control to begin with? ICON's mission is to build the safest light sport aircraft in the world. And that begins with the A5. The easiest answer would have been to do spin recoverable. The design team at ICON was determined to do better than that, to build the first production airplane that was entirely spin resistant. It wasn't easy. It was tough to go, let's stop the development. Let's put eight months more in that. Let's go spend the time, the money, and all the effort to go do something we're not even sure we can do because no one's ever done it. Many airplane designs in the past have tried to achieve it and not quite succeeded. We intended to fully succeed. A spin occurs when an aircraft slows down to the point where it stops flying. It can enter a descending, spiraling turn that is effectively out of control. The danger is when the stall spin occurs at low altitude, like on takeoff or landing, when the pilot can get slow, misfly the airplane, and inadvertently enter a stall spin when there's not enough altitude to recover. A spin-resistant airplane is resistant to spins, controllable in a stall, and has a slow descent rate during a stall. Spin resistance is a somewhat complicated issue to relay to people. The best way to do that would be a visual method. Once ICON arrived at the A5 spin-resistant design, they decided the best demonstration of the A5 spin resistance would be to fly it alongside one of the most proven light airplanes in the world, stall both aircraft side by side, applying the same control inputs. Pull aft stick, right rudder. Stick aft, right rudder. In an effort to initiate a spin. Idle power. Idle. Pull aft stick, right rudder. Stick aft, right rudder. The 150 does in fact end up in the spin. The same controls when you put it into the Icon, it's very docile, nose stays pointed pretty much straight ahead, and it does not spin. With this kind of side-by-side -side demonstration, you can see exactly how effective spin resistance actually is. To demonstrate the A5's controllability in a stall, Icon's test pilot held the airplane in a full stall and maneuvered the aircraft. Buffett, slight nose drop, 41. Full aft stick. Full aft stick, rolling right. He banks 30 degrees in either direction. Stop. Rolling left. And he retains full roll control even during Stop. the stall. Rolling back. Stop. And recovering. The A5 responds normally and positively to control inputs, even when stalled. Additionally, the A5 buffets under stall conditions to alert the pilot to a stall, so they can correct and resume normal flight. Recovering. Oftentimes, survivability in an accident depends on the descent rate of the aircraft. To demonstrate the A5's descent rate in a stall, Icon stalled the A5 next to a parachute and compared their descent rates. The descent rate of a parachute is approximately 1,200 feet per minute. Yeah, he's just got a slight more descent rate than the A5. The descent rate of the A5 when it's held in a stall is about 1,000 feet per minute, less than that of the parachute. This slower descent rate decreases the chance of stall-related fatalities. This is a new milestone for aviation in, in the light sport realm. And there was times when our engineering group, you know, was beating their head against the wall going, I'm not sure we can do this to do something that most airplanes will depart control of flight and spin out of control and watch the A5 not do that. Pretty staggering, it's, it's cool. The Icon A5 will be the first production airplane to be designed to meet the Federal Aviation Administration's full envelope Part 23 spin resistant standard. The Icon is the first standard configuration aircraft to pass the letter of the law and not need any waivers whatsoever. So that is quite an accomplishment. And to do it on a plane that can also land on water and be a good training aircraft for a new pilot is uh, quite a feat.
The A5 can give both new and experienced pilots alike the confidence that when flying at low altitude and at lower speeds, the aircraft is not going to unexpectedly depart controlled flight. Spin resistance dramatically reduces the chances of loss of aircraft control. It's a feature that will save lives. We've got a mission and responsibility to bring very smart people together and try to create an airplane that people fall in love with, and that's extremely safe, and it's possible.